Hello everyone and welcome once again to another program of Prime Time. I'm your host Beverly. What makes a business successful? What can you do to make your great ideas into a business? Well, my guest today might have that secret. So stick around and we'll be right back for This is Prime Time. This is Rupert Brown, better known in the community as Major Brown because of my service in the police. I've been with Najiko for the past 30 something years. I think it's around 35. And I've always been satisfied with the service I got with him. They have helped many people in this island. As long as I have to keep on insuring them with any company, I will choose Najiko. Every time I go to Najiko, I get the best service that I, I needed. I think it took a little longer to be paid out, but I could understand. They had to bring in the people out from outside. The damage was so great that they needed people from outside to make the assessments, and that took a little longer. But in the end, I was satisfied that I had people in Najiko who you consider friends, and that's why I've remained with Najiko all these years, because of the friendliness of the people in there. Choose strength. Choose reliability. Choose Najiko Insurances. Welcome back and thank you very much for joining us. This is Prime Time. And yes, we are back after we had a summer break. And we are again committed to bringing you the best programming on the island. And we start our new season with um, two local entrepreneurs. And they have a business that's called Always Enchanted. Next to me is Janice Swazi Waver, and she is the owner of Always Enchanted. And next to her is her uh, husband, Ronnie Waver. He is the manager and a great big help and support. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. Thank and you. so Janice, how do you keep, I'm going to start right away and ask you, how do you keep your clients always enchanted? Well, first of all, we always try to give them exactly what they want and try to really envision and put forth the what they want to perceive as when they come to us with their events or when they come to us for their um, balloon bouquets yeah. or floral arrangements. We really try to give them always that perfect one moment time experience. experience. Yeah. Ronnie, um, tell me your take on it always in charge because I know you see you're the manager but I know you're more than that. Yes, well I'm the man behind the scenes basically. I make sure that um, Everything is in place and make sure that, um, you know, all the orders are on time and it's, it's, yes, it's a challenge to keep up with what's out there now. And um, basically what Janice said, it's to keep up with the time also because people seeing all these things on the internet and all that stuff. So we come, you know, we try to come up with new ideas looking at their what they want because they of, of course they come into the shop and be like yeah i want that mm -hmm. but it's difficult sometimes mm -hmm. because not really difficult but it's challenging, challenging sometimes because challenging. Step up to that kind exactly of yes exactly mm -hmm. so you know, but we most of our mo not to cut your cross go ahead most of our um clients basically you know they most when we talk to them you know, we get a feedback here and there and say okay this is what we could do we could give you this and then we give them an idea we don't show them a picture what they exactly they get in, but it's basically yeah. Because if, if Janice is creating, you never know exactly what and unique exactly. things come up with Janice. Yes, mm -hmm. I always try to leave that. You know, um, I build up a momentum with them, I <coughs> gain their trust, and once I do, and I know exactly what they want, uh, the day of the event, I have them view their room, the event hall before their guests, and take it all in because. Mm -hmm. Pictures do not do justice. You can't take a moment and capture it on picture. Mm -hmm. That it's really something that I try to do, and and I really do my best to keep up with what's well, up and coming. Mm -hmm. You so, know, you, you know, before you would come in and say, okay, I'm having my 60th birthday party, mm -hmm. and I want my room decorated. But now they're saying I have my 60th birthday party, mm -hmm. and I want my room decorated like this. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. right, exactly. The picture from the end. And the exactly. biggest issue I would, the biggest challenge I would say with that is limited resources on mm -hmm. hands on the island. You know, that, that has been one of the biggest challenges, but we always try to find ways around it with creativity and, and trying always to say, you know what, we can make it work. I will never replicate somebody else's work. I'll make it yours and unique. 
Right. Always. So what made you all decide to start this business? Because I know when you look around, you have a lot of people doing, uh, I mean, you all is mm -hmm. unique, but you have people who try to be in the same type of business. Mm -hmm. Okay. I first, um, I would say when my daughter was just a baby and planning her first birthday and mm -hmm. also planning for my sister's baby shower, I realized that it's something that I really wanted to do. And I started off with the balloons, you know, right. something easy, something simple. And then I venture off where I had some clients say, listen, I really need you to do my wedding. I was like, I'm not in the wedding industry. Mm -hmm. And then I said, you know what, let's try it. Mm -hmm. And I realized that it is something that I love, but really love to do. It's my passion. So, but I know you from the early days of starting <laughs> with the um, with the schools and yes. like with the balloons and so for first mm, communion. Exactly. Yes. I mean, you all have gone from leaps and bounds since then. Yes. 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 Now we're doing graduations. We do and all that stuff, and it's yeah, it's. Are you it's getting just, is business? Are you getting business? We yes. are. People are coming in. I, I must say that they are coming in. They are curious to know what all we offer. Exactly. And we're really trying to be unique. Unique with the, not only the planning, but also with the decoration. So we are getting people that are coming in. I'm trying to master my best with giving them what they want. Yeah. That's, yes. yes. Right. That is what makes the difference. Huh? Exactly. The satisfaction of the yes. client. And then they spread the word. Yes. Exactly. And especially so, uh, now that after the um, hurricane passing, mm -hmm. It's a limited of uh, venues, so ah. that's where the next challenge comes in, mm -hmm. because everybody is going to this and that venue, so it's always all the parties and events are happening at those venues. Those couple of venues, so yes. exactly. So you make so yeah, each time, exactly each time, <laughs> each time, and we don't replicate our work either. Mm -hmm. So you come by us, you basically say, "Listen, I want this balloon bouquet or whatever maybe." So we cannot do the same thing like we did. We give you the same, yeah. but different. Right, right. And so, Jan, I've seen you started with the fresh flowers too? Yes. yes, that was one of the courses that I did two years ago. It's flowers, just there's something about it that makes me happy. Um, you know, so my friend would walk in and see me talking to them. She's like, okay, so you're having a yeah, moment. What kind of moment you have here? <laughs> yeah. But I do, there's something about it that I just feel that it complements my work. Yeah. Um, I, it's something that I did learn from a young age because my mother also had a flower shop when I was oh, yes, a little I'm girl. Mm -hmm. Yes. So and that, so. you know, it, it came from then, I would say. So what do you prefer to work with? So you have, you know, I know you have the flowers, the real flowers, and I know you have the balloons, which is phenomenal. What you do with that? Thank you. Yeah, it's too, it's different because you know, it's. I don't think I would say that I prefer working with one or the other. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just like bo working with everything that presents itself in terms of material for me to work with. I like the challenge of combining the two. Um, I don't like to just say, you know what, I'll work with flowers alone. We work with fabric. We work with pretty much everything that you can possibly think of. And that's everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, we'll take a break and then they come back. Um, how does a husband and wife um, have a family, have a business and see each other all day? How do you all balance that? I know that's going to take more than the next segment, but we're going to try anyway. Stick around and we'll be back in a moment. This is Prime Time. Hey ma, how you doing? You busy? I hear, just paying some bills, taking care of business, you know what it is? <laughs> I know, you're doing your online banking. I don't have to stand in those long lines to pay bills. I can transfer when I want, I can check my account wherever. It's like the bank open 24-7. I even hear checking the statement right now as we're talking. How's Miami? Well, that's why I'm calling. I'm finishing up a few songs now. But I'm afraid that studio time might be more than I thought. And I was wondering if I could get some help with some funds. And I could pay you back as soon as I get back to St. Martin. Let me check my account. How much you need? I think 500 should be enough. I can transfer it to you while you're online. Direct from me to you. No problem. 
Creek. Thank you so much, ma. I'll get online with Bib now. All right, darling. You know who you're for? <laughs> I need to know who you're for. Contact Web today for your complete personal online banking experience. Available for all mobile devices, the Winwood Islands Bank, now your online banking partner in progress. A cruise is a great adventure. Not only for passengers, also for us. The Port of St. Martin. Our port always reflected the needs and aspirations of the time. From the first to the 1.75 millionth passenger in 2013. Our cruise story started in 1963 with our first cruise passenger. 50 great years later, 20 million passengers later, thousands of cruise berths later, we've become the leading port in the Caribbean. 50 fantastic years, like a dream. The dream of Port St. Martin lives on and reinvents itself every day. The best is yet to come. At Travel Planners, we love what we do. Every day we help our clients plan their vacations. From honeymoons to family reunions, trade shows to conventions, school trips to sports tournaments. Our agents at Travel Planners can help you make better, wiser decisions on travel destinations and cruises and find you the lowest fares. Make some memories with help from Travel Planners in Phillipsburg and on the airport road Simpson Bay. Visit our website at Planners SXM and like us on Facebook at St. Martin Travel Planners. We take care of all your travel needs. Welcome back and thank you very much. This is Prime Time and as we said, this is our first program in a, in a series of programs where we are going to be highlighting young entrepreneurs on our island. If you look around, you see a lot of young people are being brave. They are challenging themselves to get into their own business. And so we have Janice and Roy today with us with the business Always Enchanted. And so when I took the break, let me, let me put this to Ronnie. When I took a break, I asked you, how do you balance this? Have a husband and wife. Um, in the same business, in the same office, doing the same decorations and organizing and discussing. How do you do that? How do you balance that? Well, for me... No, honesty, yeah? Honesty. Yeah, for me, it's... Um, Janice is my best friend in this, uh, looking at it like that. And I leave work at work and home is home. And that's basically how... You're we able to separate it? And separate it like that. And we have very supportive parents on both sides. Yes. That um, if we can't pick up the children, they will pick them up. Or, you know, they, will, they are very, very supportive. And we have to thank them for that. Yeah. And both sides, basically, because, um, yeah, we're between two homes now. So, right. yes, yeah, so it's, it's like that. Hurricane did that to you? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Janice, so tell me, how is it working with your husband? I must say it's a beautiful experience. Why? Because I not only, like he said, um, I'm his best friend, but he's my best friend. I've known him for 20 years or a little bit more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and working with him, I am able to express exactly how I feel without having to worry about if I offended someone. It's when we have events, I get extremely stressed. And Ronnie is always the one to tell me, listen, you got this, we got this, you know? And mm -hmm. it's something that he's learned to get me calm. To deal with. He sounds and like a common effect. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> and nothing ever aggravates Ronnie. So I believe it's in don't put no gas in the fire. <laughs> right, you believe in that? Out the fire. But honestly, it's, I wouldn't see it any other way. I wouldn't want to do it any other way. Working so, with him. So what about if you have an idea for something and he's not on the same page with you? How do you work that one out? I still tell me tell her like this is not gonna work It's gonna be too much work in the sense of too much logistic part of it mm -hmm. And we have to like come up with a new plan, but the same thing give them the same thing But mm -hmm. a different way of a different direction for that direction for that and, and then we'll agree we'll, we'll Maybe she'll be like no, I want it like this so like okay, so I'll go back to my drawing board, mm -hmm. draw it out, and be like, try to see how you can and see how I can still work it out in mm -hmm. that sense. Yeah. And we had some of the, our 
events like that. Yeah. <laughs> like last minute, it's like I up three, four o'clock in the morning, uh -huh. testing my thing mm -hmm. because without her knowing, mm -hmm. so I am, I got it. But it, I, in the meantime, I in the garage checking, making sure that it's working, plug in, make mm -hmm. sure the lights come on, mm -hmm. and all those things because uh -huh. next day is. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So is this a, is it like a twenty four seven business? Yes, For it sure. definitely is. We sometimes um, I've cried. I've cried sometimes where I'm like, okay, when am I ever going to have time for uh, going on a beach with the children? But then I have s such loving children that they, they say, you know what, mom, it's okay. We, we're in a store. We're with you. And my daughter now recently learned to do the balloons. And my son would just, uh -huh. you know, everybody's, it's family. A real family. Yes. They a have real their shirts business. and they wear, they wear their shirts, bro. So yes. when I have to go <laughs> shirt, when I have to go set up a backdrop or whatever, my son, they so let's go. Sure exactly. Yes. It's not for free mm -hmm. because yeah. they make sure they tell you. Uh, so uh -huh. Daddy, um, <laughs> top up. So uh, yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so. But nice. it's nice because they get to see that we're not in the office just waiting for something to happen. Yeah. They're actually there with us in the weekend and helping us and all that. How do you market the business? Right now, I have I have my cousin Melanie to thank. She's the one behind my Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. For now, we are really pushing the Instagram and Facebook mm -hmm. pages. Social media. Um, yeah. Other than that, we have not run any promotions just as yet. Mm -hmm. We're kind of feeling out how everybody is and how the market is, especially since Irma. So right now, the business has picked up yeah. because of word of mouth and mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. And people are now, for some reason, are more now willing to celebrate any event mm -hmm. than before. You see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I must say, and where we're located, they're actually, we have a lot of foot, foot traffic. traffic. So, right. people, yes. so tell them you are the Miss Lally Center. Miss Lally Center. Center. Sure. Yeah, because you have the boutiques upstairs. Yes. And then you have Georgina's. Yeah, and there. you have the restaurant right next to us, Amrosia. Right. right. So it is, it's, and then you have the bank. The bank. Yes. And right. Then it's you have a photographer shop. studio. Right. So right. It's a lot. People walk in and out, and they come, and we're right by the stairs. So nice. we have an upper hand in that sense because they come by us. They be like, "Where is this?" And they will uh -huh, tell us, and, and then they come, and then they, when they come, be like, "I right. come back," right. because they see something that we have <laughs> on display or whatever. So they come and ask a question. So we give them a card, even though they're not taking nothing or asking. Right, of I'll still give them a card and say, "Listen, check us out on Facebook, Instagram." And right, Janice was so talking earlier about sourcing material because mm -hmm. you're doing a lot of the balloons. Mm -hmm. I see you have a different quality balloon that mm -hmm. gives you a longer time with it. Mm -hmm. yes. and the colors and, are brighter. And, and, and the fresh flowers. How you how you source your stuff? Um, are you doing online? I actually do it. I am doing locally. I am doing online. I have found different distributors due to my um, balloon training course that I did back in 2009. I did have contacts from then, which uh, mm. I work with those suppliers from the U.S. mainly. Fresh Flowers, we are working with suppliers from the U.S. in Miami. Mm -hmm. And we're working with also one that we'll soon be working with from Holland. Oh, for flowers? Yes. Yeah, because wow. it's seasonal. Because usually when you don't get certain flowers in the U.S., you can get them in the Holland. Right. Exactly. And if you get in Holland, then you can get them in the U.S. So right. it's basically, we used, because we're still a young company, mm -hmm. we're not a year yet. And so we're still trying s different suppliers. To see how things go. To see how things go. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll take a break and we'll come back. Um, I don't know if this is a relevant question, but I really, it's itching me to ask you who is the boss in this company. I know we have an owner and I know we have a manager, but there's always the boss. And so stick around, we'll be back in a moment. Don't forget, you can look at this program and all programs on Facebook and on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back in a moment. Stick around. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Megawati is here with tips to save you energy.
One, turn your air quote temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. Cause I need this cord on the set, but I really want to know who is the boss here in this business. Because they say you can't have two living in the same home, right? No, no, no. All right. So Ronnie, who's the boss? Janice is the boss. Yeah? You don't have a problem with that? I don't have no problem with that. It doesn't it bruise doesn't your male ego or nothing? No, it doesn't do... I'm the boss in the business. At home, he's the man. Okay. You well, you see how nice she is? She still gave me a little bit of me. She gave me a little something. No Tell us, when you I go think. out on a... Um, on a site to work. Mm. Um, what are the rules? So, okay, got it. So you're going to decorate the Winter Garden Bank mm. for, let's say, Christmas. Mm. All right. So first of all, we always set up a, a event work order, so everybody knows exactly what is their task. Whomever has to bring in the bases, whoever has to bring in the balloons. Um, um, my job mainly is to design and know exactly where things are going to go based on what my client requested me. Ronnie's job is, for instance, he executes getting the, the design the on the floor. I do have an awesome team right now. Right. We are, I am grateful for them. I am grateful for my team. And we are working on getting a bigger team as business is growing. Wow. And everybody is always on page with, uh, in terms of the event work order and time. Time is key. Event starts at six. We try that an hour before. Five. We're finished. You know, you don't play with that. No, no, at all. No, because I hate to see somebody come do something and then the last minute yeah. you have your people coming and they scrap yeah. and still. Yeah. No, no I, that's, I, we that's try to avoid that completely because mm -hmm. we don't. Because we treat basically the clients on how we would like to be treated. Like right. you know, like okay, well, what are these people still doing here, putting things on the table? Right. So yeah. it looks unprofessional in that sense also, but then again, you know, we're trying to. So do you take home, like for example, if you have set the pieces, would mm. you do that in the store, you would take things home? Do you take work at home? No, no. we try not to. Yeah. Not, the not reason to. for having the storefront is, is to that. not have it at home. Mm -hmm. you so know, we leave, we we'll leave the store at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, sometimes in the morning, or sometimes we go straight through, right. depending on the, on the, the party, yeah. but we'll never go home with say, let's, I'm going to do this, finish yeah. it home. Right. No, okay. The only thing we'll finish home is maybe the, the execution Part of it, as she'll have it on the computer. The and it, yes. How, how how do you balance this? Because you're both in the business, and you have two kids: one high school, mm. one primary school. Mm -hmm. And so, how do you balance this? And then you have home life. Right now, I must say it is a it is a struggle since we've opened the storefront. Mm -hmm. It is a struggle, but again, everybody is on the same page as to what we want as a family mm -hmm. and what is our goal with having the storefront mm -hmm. because of it we've managed to to be happy and just we just complement each other you know um and we try like if we would have events that are, are back to back let's say three weeks in a row mm -hmm. then we mm -hmm. say okay we block off this week because yes. we need time mm -hmm. we need time. time for the children you know exactly. yes, and that's where for instance this weekend we blocked it off so that we can you know have time with them since school start back exactly. and then even though when i pick up the kids from school so you do the picking up yes. I, do mm -hmm. I drop them off in the morning You're right six o'clock we in quarter past six twenty past six in school i go home get ready get her ready and then we go to the shop Janice, he's getting yeah, you she's, ready. Yeah, she's Hello. Not. That's some good makeup you <laughs> did for this program. She's not a morning <laughs> yeah. person. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah. So yeah. We, we do our best work at night in the sense of getting the stuff organized. So then we make sure the kids in bed, make sure that everything good. And then we go back to the shop. We do what we have to do and we go back home. Do you all have date nights? Yes. yes. What is that? Yes. Uh, you know that word? No, yes, that's, we that's, do. That's, you know that word? Yes. That's an escape. That's at least once or twice a week. Yes, yes, we do. We have date night, and we also have a night where we go out to dinner um, with, the kids. with the kids, but not only the kids. We have a night where we go out to dinner with staff, yes. with, with the, the team. Staff. Yes, once we finish wow. setting up, we Usually all try to sit yeah. together, mm -hmm. and we eat, and we discuss, okay, what could we what have done better? better. What, right. what do you feel? You know, um, mm -hmm. I'm somebody who's learning to delegate, yeah. so I, I, I try to get feedback from them because they are my team. Got you. They are the ones that make mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. and always enchanted mm -hmm. on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. 
I do that with my team sometimes yeah, we have to go, yeah, but and while we go out to socialize a little bit yeah we are discussing what exactly. programs coming next and exactly. yeah right. and we've been doing this for over 30 something years yeah because everybody's, because everybody's happy yeah. then you're gonna get everybody's happy work. Exactly. Yeah, yeah like happy wife happy life yes. something like that yes <laughs> yes please. and Janice tell us before we, we end up um, your course of study for a young person who's out there looking at this program what can we say to them Tell us what you did, um, the courses that you took with the balloon and all that stuff. I would say you have to know what you want to do. It has to be something that comes from deep down inside. And find, make it your goal and find every way possible to get it there. I had my daughter at a very young age. I decided to pursue my balloon training. I did that in 2009, mm -hmm. a year after I had my son with Ronnie's support. Ronnie stayed home two months yeah. with the children uh -huh. and I went off to to get my balloon um, program course Good. done. Yeah. And I just, from there, I kept on following up with right. YouTube. You know, you have yeah. the advantage of YouTube right. and internet. But then the hands-on and really the logistics and how to manage really the techniques. business itself. Yeah. Uh -huh. I then went on in 2016, I went to Paris where I then followed the wedding planning and wedding designer course and floral art. Ah, so you that see? That, yes. Huh? That was much longer. Yeah, I hear you. Uh -huh. I to, I that was four a, I months. I had the whole of for four months. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't easy. It, well, yeah. But it, was, it was because you had a it's goal. Worth it. exactly. yeah, it's worth it. Because the kids understood also and they're very independent in that sense. Right. So everybody know what they had to do. Oh, that's great. And so before we close, if you didn't have this business always enchanted, Janice, what else would you have wanted to do? I don't know what I would have wanted to do besides be a mother, which I am. Um, I don't know because this is what I love to do. I, I think I would be lost if I wasn't doing this. Uh, and Ronnie, what about you? Well, I still um, are. I mean, this is I know you still work with your dad. Yeah, I still are, I'm still involved. Uh huh. But um, I'm more. It's more time to this. To the and I still involve myself with his daily. Way of going, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're looking for great things yes. um, in the coming years for all is enchanted. Yes. Yeah, and I'm going to say it officially Janice promised to fix up our set one of these no days. Enchanted is in great hands. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week with some great more programs. May God bless you.